Just a few days after a human trafficking sting in Tampa yielded 85 arrests, Governor Ron DeSantis has approved a law that seeks to crack down on this illicit trade. As Jake Stofan tells us, he creates new training requirements and also establishes a registry for the pimps and for the Johns. Following several high-profile human trafficking stings, lawmakers want traffickers to know Florida is closed for business. Senate sponsor Lauren Book fought for the creation of a soliciting for prostitution registry that will allow FDLE to track pimps and johns. In a 2011 study that interviewed hundreds of sex buyers, it was asked, what would deter you um, from purchasing sex? And the highest deterrent at 89% was this public database. In addition, the law requires law enforcement, certain health care workers and hospitality staff to undergo training to better identify and report possible traffic trafficking victims. This activity unfortunately is taking place in hotels and motels in the state of Florida. We don't want to be part of that industry. The law will also make it easier for the Department of Health to shut down or revoke licenses of massage parlors and strip clubs that are caught trafficking or employ people with histories of trafficking. The new law comes as the state gears up to host the 2020 Super Bowl. Large sporting events are often hot spots for trafficking, but Attorney General Ashley Moody says she's making her own preparations. Moody's office will be partnering with Uber to train drivers in Miami ahead of the game. They can help us be the eyes and ears on the ground to prevent human trafficking. One of the things the bill does is uh, it does encourage a private public partnership. In the week of last year's Super Bowl in Atlanta, more than 160 people were arrested on human trafficking charges. Reporting at the state capitol, Jake Stofan, Channel 4, the local station. Many of the changes the new law makes won't take effect immediately. The training requirements won't fully be in place until the year 2022.